What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. As you can see, we are in my new house. Oh my gosh, it's so great to be here. Just kidding, this is not my house. This is a gorgeous house and I live in a one bedroom apartment by myself, without a dog, without a girl, alone. Yeah. So we are at Josh and Katie's house right now. Uh, I am cooking them dinner. I'm cooking dinner for the squad tonight. We're doing steaks, we're doing asparagus, we're doing potatoes. We're doing all the things I can do very, very, very well. And I'm about to prove myself and show them that I cook a better steak than any steakhouse you're ever gonna go to. We're in the bathroom right now. I don't know why I'm in the bathroom starting this, but welcome to the vlog. And yeah, so let's go out, see everybody, see what we're cooking with, and let's just run it. Let's go, you! Josh, Katie, everybody's here. We're doing asparagus. Everybody's here. Everybody's ready. Everyone's ready. All the boys. Cooking it up. Ready. Yeah. Ready. Yes, yeah, sir. Scotty came in the kitchen. You. What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Um. So yeah, obviously did not finish it last night. Uh, because he never finishes. I never finish on time or in the right places. <laughs> anyway, we are doing a quick photo shoot here. As you can see, I am with Ethan B. Hill, the boy wonder. We're gonna get some shots for him. We're gonna get some shots for myself because the boy here is now on cuts. We will talk about that I more said. later. But congratulations, Thanks, you're on the team. Man. There we go. And I am a. Uh, I'm wearing it too. But, um, <laughs> so yeah, so we are gonna get some shots for you guys really quick. And then this kid was not there last night to enjoy my steak dinner. You gotta teach the young kids how to do it because this guy's gotta attract girls. Because if you guys didn't it's know, struggling. 19 years old. I'm the worst person to be teaching him how to get girls because obviously, look at me. Anyway, we're gonna get this going. We're gonna do some behind the scenes, roll stuff, whatever you see. And yeah, I'll show you a little bit and then we'll go home, make some steak and. Guys, welcome back to Cooking with Scotty. <laughs> Insert the music here. Da -da -da. Just kidding, no music. Um, yeah, so we're making steaks tonight because uh, we made them last night, Ethan wasn't there. Ethan needs to learn how to make steaks, so I figured I would show you guys how to make steaks as well because everybody needs to know how to make a steak. So we are starting with two beautiful bone-in ribeyes over here, fatty cut of meat, a lot of flavor, a lot of calories. So, you know, if you're if you're gonna have friends over, you're gonna have a girl over, you're gonna have a guy over, everybody needs to know how to make a steak. Go ribeye, more expensive, but highly, highly worth it. You're gonna start by getting your cast iron pan. There's a lot of ways you can do this. My favorite way is the reverse sear method. So what that would entail is, you know, you set your oven at like 250 to 275, and then you bake your steaks for roughly 45 minutes to bring that internal temperature up to like 120, 125. You take them out, let them rest for a second, get your uh, cast iron pan, I like cast iron, get that thing ripping, and then you throw it in, you cook it like that. We're not gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna show you just quick and easy. You're gonna throw it into the pan and just get it ripping without having to do that. So first things first, obviously, get your guy going nice and hot. I salted these guys a while ago. I left them in the fridge salting. Basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring all the moisture out, bring all the flavor out. The salt's gonna penetrate the meat. You can see how it's all shiny. All those juices are coming out of the meat, which is awesome. You take your steak out of the fridge and let it come to room temperature. These are probably right around room temperature right now. You want it to come to room temperature. I know there's like that myth of like, well, you can just take it out and throw it in the pan. It's not good if you don't do that. So let it come to room temperature, at least an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, we're gonna hit it with some pepper now that is salted. And these are like probably two inch thick cuts. Freaking juicy and thick. So you can put a lot of salt on these guys and a lot of pepper. They're gonna take all the seasoning very, very well. We got people watching us. That's awesome. The audience. All right, flip them over, do the same thing on the other side. So, like I said, it is gonna get smoky as hell in here just because that's what happens when you cook steaks. It's just part of the job. So we're gonna put on the vent fan. My vent fan sucks, so it's not gonna do anything. I cannot stress enough how important a hot, hot, hot pan is. So, it is coming up. You can see the steam and the smoke kind of starting to coagulate or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna layer in. I like to push it down to make sure it doesn't curl up. There you go. So these are thick pieces of steak, so I would give that probably 
two minutes on one side, flip it, two minutes on the other side, flip it, two minutes on the other side, flip it, two minutes on the other side. I will take a thermometer. Yes, I check my steaks. I like to get them to about 125, 130. And then we're gonna take it off, let it rest, let it come up for about 10 more minutes. And then, yeah, once it's rested, we're gonna eat. So, see you guys in a couple minutes, I guess. All right, so we have flipped this guy twice now. 119, 120. What up? Oh my, look at all the smoke. It's hard to tell, guys, but this is so smoky. Hello? 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 Oh. Uh, wow, wow, dude, it's that smoke, yeah. So what we're gonna do, remove from the heat, get a knife and a spoon. You're going to grab a nice little knot of butter. That guy, throw her in. Two, three cloves of garlic, throw her in there. And then what you're going to do, tilt your pan. Do not grab this with your hand, okay? I've made that mistake too many times. Don't do that, you start basting. I can tell you guys right now, you do this for your girl. You do this for your girl. You see what that looks like? Use your imagination. Boom. So, that is a steak, obviously. I can give it 10 minutes. You can tent it if you'd like to. And then we'll carve her up and I'll show you what it looks like. Medium rare inside, guaranteed. So, we have had this guy resting now for about 10 minutes. You can see all the juice is coming out of it. That's exactly what we want. This bone is broken, so we're just gonna rip him out. As you can see there, beautiful. So let's start to carve it a little bit. So, as you can see, medium rare, perfection, absolutely beautiful. And let me get this other steak off and we're gonna have even taste test it and see what he likes. Let's go. <laughs> Good stuff, my guy. Mm. Just learn to cook. It's not hard. It took all of 20 minutes from like start to finish. But yeah, so we're gonna eat these things up. There's not gonna be any of this left, I guarantee it. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, we ate everything off of the entire plate. That's like 30 ounces plus of ribeye. Dude, how do you feel? It was amazing. Good. That's what I'm saying. So we're gonna digest a little bit, watch some uh, TV, edit some photos, and yeah, we'll check in a couple minutes. Oh, I am going into a food coma, but uh, yeah, that was absolutely amazing. Guys, once again, just try, try, try to cook. It's not hard at all. One of the things that you know I'm trying to implement more in like the next month is I want to start incorporating more helping you guys out and you know challenging myself and coming out of my element and doing more cooking videos and stuff like that. You guys know I work for Cuts and this month, I'm not promoting anything. I'm not telling you guys to go buy anything. I'm not telling you guys to go through my site. All I'm doing is saying, check out the Carpe Diem Challenge. It sees the day, that's what Carpe Diem means if you didn't know. And basically what it is, is I've got it pulled up right here. It sees the day. So we all have one common goal, it's to change every single day. It's 22 unique challenges, 22 days. It started today, or started yesterday, which was the ninth, excuse me. And every day they're sending you new things to do. So it's one new challenge every single day. And basically at the end of all of this, it's going to, it's gonna help you be a better person. It's making yourself a better version of yourself. It's making you better at connections, better with your time, better with your disciplines. You know, so it's just fully rounding you and it's taking you out of your element, taking you out of your comfort zone, which I think everybody needs to do. It's 100% free. I'm not selling you anything. I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything you need to know down in the bio below. Go on, check it out. Tell me what you think. Tell me where you're gonna start, guys, because it's so, so, so easy. Once again, go on there, check it out, sign up, do the challenge with me. Let me know how you're doing it. Interact with me, because I want to support you as much as I appreciate the support you're sending me. But guys, we're gonna wrap it up tonight, and I don't know, you think we should keep this going tomorrow? Or I don't, I don't even know. I don't know, man. I don't know what you shot earlier. Did he shoot enough earlier? I mean, I shot last night and this. So you guys have seen basically steak. So we'll probably just roll this into tomorrow. But guys, have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Let's go. What is going on team? Good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are having an awesome morning so far. Getting up and getting moving, getting going. I don't know why my hood up. It is like 60 degrees outside. But yeah, it is a awesome morning to be alive. I am running into a meeting really quick. And you just kind of go throughout the day with me today. I don't know what we're gonna do. We have a lot of meetings, a lot of calls we have to get on. So um, this is a typical day in my life. So we're gonna end it at the end of today probably. And then uh, we'll get this guy up and 
shoot something else tomorrow, but I am going to show you guys some meal prep today. A lot of you hit me up in my DMs on Instagram after my last video and said, well, it must be easy to, you know, meal prep when you've got the time and stuff like that. Guys, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to, you know, bulk cook your chicken and just get it done. So I'm gonna do that for you guys tonight and then we'll just roll it over. So here we go. Okay, outfit change obviously got done with that first meeting. Awesome, locked him in. So anyway, we just got to our next meeting. We're about to go inside and sit down with him. Uh, figure out what I can help him with and do all this stuff and I just wanted to show you guys something that I do a lot like We all have big goals. We all have big dreams and what I do is whenever I see my dream or see my goal I try to get as close as I can to it. So next to me right now is one of the new Ford Broncos That is one of the dream cars that I have on my list. I know it seems weird I want like the lifted like built out like crazy one and so every time I see one Especially like if I'm going into a meeting or something like that I always park next to it or I always get close to it and I stick a second to look at it and imagine myself in it because Ultimately, if you can see the dream and you can like touch the dream, don't touch other people's cars, but if you can like be around it, I just feel like it manifests that's much more. Like I can see it, that that's that's mine, you know, that's gonna be mine. And so, yeah, just a quick little tip for you guys. When you see your dream, go after it, go stand next to it, go sit with it and, you know, be around it because ultimately it's gonna push you a little bit harder. So I'm gonna go crush this really quick, crush the meeting, figure out how I can help this guy in any way I can and provide as much value as possible. And then, um, yeah, we'll grab the camera and we'll go to the next one. And um, I think the next thing I show you guys will either be a workout or we'll be doing that meal prep. So. Guys, I hope you're having an awesome day so far. I'm rattling off. I've had so much coffee. It's great. Alrighty, so we just got home from a workout. Uh, it is like seven o'clock, and as promised, we are going to show you guys how to meal prep some chicken. Problem is everybody goes, well, it comes out dry, it comes out this, it comes out that. If you do it correctly, it will not come out like that. I just think it has more flavor, so I stick with chicken thighs. You can tell me in the comments if you like chicken thighs, chicken breasts, chicken tenderloins. Let me know, I wanna know what you guys are eating, but yeah. If you want to make some bulk chicken, this is how you do it. And I promise you, it is so, so simple. It takes like maybe 10 minutes, very minimal prep. And yeah, so let's get it going. All right, so what you're gonna need is a pan, obviously. You're gonna need your chicken. That's kind of what this is all about. And then you're going to need some chicken broth or beef broth, whatever you'd like to. And then I always throw in a little bit of better than bouillon just because it gives it a lot of flavor. You can season this however you'd like to and it'll come out great every single time. So that's literally what you start with and then throw whatever seasonings you want. So let's get going. All right, so this is literally how easy it is. We're gonna get the heat going. You're gonna get your bone broth. Pour that guy in there. Get a nice little puddle going. Then what you're going to do is get your better than bouillon. Throw a little scoopsy in there. This guy just adds a ton of flavor for very, very minimal calories. And then we're going to bring this up to a boil. So let's wait for that. We're kind of coming up to like a simmer. You're just gonna take your chicken thighs, you're gonna open them up like so, and you're just gonna lay them around inside of there. You can trim off some of the fat if you'd like to. Uh, it's not really that important. If you have like thicker chicken breasts, I would say, you know, like open them up a little bit, butterfly them, just because it'll help them cook a little bit faster. And that's what we're going for is time and efficiency here. It's been about four minutes now, so let's take the cover off, see what we're working with. Obviously they are turning white a little bit on top, so all we're gonna do is flip these guys. And as you can see, they're starting to get color from the broth. So I'm not even gonna season these guys because there's not really a reason to. Maybe throw a little bit of pepper on, but that's the beauty of this is if you keep it kind of neutral in the beginning, Later on, like whenever you're going to get your meals out, you can season these however you want to. So let's say you're having like a rice dish or like a taco dish or something like that. You just season them to meet that flavor profile. So you're never like stuck with one flavor. So flip them over and now we're gonna put the cover back on and cook for probably another four minutes. So if you guys wanna see more cooking videos or just like tips and tricks on how to make different things, just shoot me a message, you know, drop in my DMs here, go on Instagram, say, hey, we need more cooking videos on YouTube. Um, got about another minute. And then we'll check the internal temp. I'm trying to get it to about one, 155 because they're gonna come up in heat with the residual heat and you wanna have them at about 165 to eat. You could honestly undercook them. Don't undercook your chicken, obviously, if you're gonna eat it right away. But you could undercook them a little bit and then that just makes sure that they don't dry out when you reheat them later. All right, I gave it about another minute, so let's check these guys once again. Right in the thickest part. And we are at 150, which is right where I wanna be, so we're gonna take these guys off the heat and let them rest. So they're obviously done cooking, so I grabbed my little Tupperware guy that I'm keeping them in. Boom. Boom. So yeah, 
So realistically, it is that easy. We started at, I think it was 6.58 when we started, and that's all it took. You can do that with any meat, realistically, if you wanna do it like that in the cooking method, or you can bake them, or you, if you have an air fryer like I do, air fryer kind of toaster oven thing, you can throw them in there and cook them. Guys, it's so, so simple, and there's no excuse why you shouldn't be cooking for yourself. I'll wrap it up there, though. If you guys need anything at all, please reach out. Tell me what you want to see. More cooking videos, more friend videos, eat more of my life and behind the scenes. If you guys want to see more business stuff, if you guys want to see more nutrition stuff, all that kind of goodness that's out there, let me know and I'd be happy to make it for you. But we're going to wrap it up there. Guys, remember, go check out Cuts Carpe Diem. It is a huge, huge, huge opportunity for you to, you know, get started and start something. Start something fresh, start something fun, get your family involved, get your kids involved, get your wife. And this isn't just for guys. I know that Cuts is kind of like a guy's brand. This is for everybody. So if you guys want a challenge, go down below, click the link, sign up for it. You can still get in it. We're only like two days in, but it is definitely going to change your life over the next 22 days. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me over the past couple days. We'll be back in a few and... I'll do whatever you guys like to see. So have a good one. Remember, there's no bad days and God bless you.